Hi, this is Dr. Dave. Welcome back. The most common set of questions I get as an integrative psychiatrist is what is safe and effective to add to my existing medications? As our name implies, um, we at Integrative Psychiatry believe adamantly in customizing treatment uh, to your symptoms and your unique biochemistry. It's one of the reasons we take comprehensive histories of your symptoms and everything that's ever happened to you and everything that's ever happened to everyone you've ever known, essentially. But we also measure your psychoneuroimmunological perturbations. What does that mean? We measure your neurotransmitters, your immune reactivity, your hormones to include adrenal, thyroid, vitamin D, reproductive hormones, um, and that's, that's where we start. Now, to treat most people, we end up having to use a combination of lifestyle, diet, activity, including exercise, medications, and vitamins and supplements. The most recent data on use of supplements and vitamins in combination with existing medications, I think may um, inform, enlighten, illuminate, maybe even surprise you. And there is good data in humanoids for using safely and effectively nutraceuticals and supplements in combination with medication. Now, the most common disease state I treat is depression far and away. It's the most common psychiatric illness in the world. And even though we have many, many new treatments, on average, medication treatment for depression has not improved in terms of response and remission rates since 1954 or so. That's right. We haven't gotten any better in over 60 years. Who was president 60 years ago? What were you driving 60 years ago? What version of iPhone or smart digital appliance were you using 60 years ago? But that's where we still are with respect to treating depression. Part of that reason is we do not customize treatment, but rather everybody gets the one size fits all uh, mantra of modern technological medication and medicine. Alright, so what does the data show? What should I add to an antidepressant when for those two-thirds of you that won't respond adequately to an antidepressant? Well, first and foremost is fish oil, and that's certainly one of my favorite supplements. I take it myself. Not only do I buy my own hustle, I take my own supplements, including fish oil. Um, I'm not so crazy that you have to use. Uh, I got so excited, I think I shook the table. Um, our, our brand, but I do know what's in our brand, and so that's usually what I use. I have it in the office. Um, it's also available online. The next best data is for vitamin D3, also one that I take routinely. Other important supplements to consider would be the methylated B vitamins, so L-methylfolate, um, methylcobalamin, that's a methylated form of B12, SAMe, also a methyl donor. Now, should you go out and get all of these? Not necessarily. It still would make sense to have a clinical evaluation and have your darn neurotransmitters tested, but I know you hear that from me aplenty. This is actually um, further delineated in some of my most recent blogs there on our website, integrativepsychiatry.net, um, www.integrativepsychiatry.net. So look it up, see what else I've been saying lately. I'm very consistent, but the message needs to be repeated relentlessly. Until next time, this has been Dr. Dave. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.